Man, are y'all okay? Are y'all are y'all really okay? I look fucking good. I look good. Dolce and Gabbana, Fendi and Adana, Karen, they be sharing all their money, got me wearing fly. Girl, but I ain't asking, they say they love my ass in seven jeans to religion. I say no, but they keep giving, so I keep on taking, and no, I ain't. Good morning. Good morning. I know, I know. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. My name is Soulmate Nickficent. You can call me Nikki. Welcome back to another weekend vlog. Um, so make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment. I know I took a little hiatus. Had to work on my mental health, guys. I had to. It was imperative that I did. So I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Anyway. We're getting ready to hit the gym. I gotta go to my parents, and I have a lot today. Today is Saturday, by the way. I have a lot to do. I go to my parents' house, which is like 30 minutes away. So I wanna go and get that out of the way. And then go, then I need to go to the gym because I'm not going tomorrow, and I might not go Monday. It's a long weekend, this MLK weekend. I don't know if, you know, Birmingham was like one of those cities where it's big for civil, civil rights movement um so it's gonna be a lot of visitors here i'm sure um but as for me probably not gonna do anything because i've seen it once i've seen it every time i've been to the civil rights museum that was literally a yearly trip for us in school in grade school that was literally a yearly trip for us so there's no nothing new there nothing new i just no reason for me to go down there anyway so we're getting ready to go and hang with well do what I need to do with my parents' house and then come to the gym and then we're gonna go. It was something else I need to do. I can't remember what else I need to do. I need to stop by some store. I can't remember. Target? I think Target. And then we have Grace's birthday dinner tonight. And we're probably gonna go to Queens Park afterwards because it's right around the corner from Grace Park. So we'll vlog that as well. Show y'all my little fit. So, I just went, I cut this shirt up and I cut it up wrong. Actually, I got the wrong size. Whenever you cut up a shirt, you need to get it a size bigger, like one or two sizes bigger. And I got it just my size. So, I don't like the way that it looks like this. So, I'm just wearing this to the gym. So, I just have on this Wu-Tang shirt that I cut up with my, um, my gray TikTok tights, I guess that someone bought me and my um my van so because i'm lifting today i did cardio yesterday so but look how good your girl looks that ass is assing today yes ma'am it is but look at look how good i look like look how good i look yes i have lost almost 30 pounds please clap um and i've got to lose another 15 or so more before april so we're gonna be on that i'm going somewhere to eat after i leave the gym i can't remember where i wanted to say i wanted to go but my car is running so you guys i'll catch up with y'all when i get to my parents house all right guys hi it's much later i told you i was gonna take a nap and that's what i did um so now I'm about to do my makeup for this dinner. I wanted to go a little bit earlier, but I just could not shake the bed. Like, I was just really tired. I didn't get any sleep last night. I just had a really, I've had a really, 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 really stressful week or two. So, um, y'all are going to see, well, I didn't vlog in Nashville. I was going to do a Nashville vlog for New Year's. That's why I went for New Year's. And I didn't, I didn't vlog. Um, I went to see someone, I went to visit someone, and it didn't work out like I wanted it to. Like, that person was just so anti-social. What was that? 
that was so antisocial and I just couldn't take it. I'm a social person and so I wanted to go out and stuff for New Year's and he didn't want to go out for real. Even though he did go with me, it just seemed like it was forced and it just didn't work out. So, um, when I got back, I kind of like kind of refocused and everything with work. Work got a little stressful and I had to kind of like step back from a lot of my social media so I can just regroup, you know? And so that's what I've been doing is just kind of regrouping or whatever, preparing myself for, uh, shoot, preparing myself to film some more content. I need to, that's a lot of things that I got to do that like I'm pretty much are, is focusing on. Dog, I don't have any with this. It's all right. Anyway, it's a lot of things that I'm trying to focus on right now. One is my weight loss. My weight loss is probably the best thing that's happening for me right now. Um, I've lost almost 30 pounds and I want to do a video on how I've been losing weight lately because, you know, I don't know if you're new here. I've been on a weight loss journey since 2016. I lost over 100 pounds and I pretty much have um, been trying to get down under 200 pounds for a long time. I started at almost 350 and I've worked my way down. Oh, it's my neighbor. And I pretty much worked my, my way down to, you know, the lower, the mid to lower 200. So that's what I'm working on is trying to get under 200 because, um, as I stated before, um, last year in some blocks that I want to get my breasts done. So once I reach my goal, I can get my breasts done. So anyway, I pretty much been focusing on that and I pretty much been, uh, just, Staying to myself, honestly, this is my first time going out since New Year's and like going out to do anything. Like I stayed in the house all last weekend. I didn't do anything. So that's why I didn't vlog last weekend. I didn't do anything at all. Like literally nothing at all. I stayed in the house and I watched Jenny and Georgia. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um. Anyway, I just wanted to talk about <clears throat> mental health. Like I really had to like step back for a second and because I was my mental health was suffering more than I wanted to. Um something triggered it, but I'm not gonna talk about it on here because it's a little personal. Um and I don't want the person that triggered it to think that um I'm telling their business or whatever per se, even though it's my business too. But anyway, I don't want no problems basically. And so I'm just not going to uh, talk about what triggered it, but it affected me more than I would like it to. And so I've been seeing a new therapist because I've been seeing a new therapist because my therapist decided to move without telling me. I didn't get any type of notification. Kind of, kind of like my last PCP. He did that same thing. He stopped. He closed his whole practice. But anyway, I've pretty much been working on, like, I, I isolated myself, honestly. I don't usually isolate myself when I'm going through something, and I did it this time, and I'm not mad about it. Uh, I just, the people who care about me, they understood why I did it, so that's all that matters. Um, I'm still not where I want to be, but I'm much better than I was. Uh, last week and a week before. So I'm able to like get out and do stuff this weekend because I feel a little bit better about what's going on. But yeah, um, so that's what's been going on with me. Uh, let me, let me just say this while I'm on my little rant or whatever. Let me just say this. What are, men, are y'all okay? Are y'all, are y'all really okay? Cause the stuff y'all be doing don't be making sense at all. Like how like men think 
that you're supposed to just drop what you're doing at the last minute to, to do something with them is so crazy to me. Like, <laughs> it's so crazy to me. Like, I don't understand why men think that the world revolves around them and it doesn't. And I'm just not that girl that's, if I got something to do, like tonight, I got something to do. And you might say, hey, you know, like last week, what you doing? I want to see you, blah, blah, blah. What makes you think I'm going to drop my shit today? Baby, I got something to do. I'm a busy person. I don't, laugh, with the exception of last weekend, I don't stay at home. I don't be at home at all. So for you to think that I was just going to be sitting up here waiting on you to come and see me, uh, you see now, you got life fucked up. <laughs> I'm unavailable. Like, I got something to do t tonight with my cousin. I wouldn't miss that at all. That's my cousin. And then I got something to do in the morning with my friend. Everly is being Christian, christening tomorrow. So, I got to be there. But anyway, I don't know. I'm just trying to see. Are y'all all right, guys? And then, you know, I know I, talk, I told y'all about someone I was dating. Counsel, forget about them. Take them out of your mind. They counsel. He really don't play by me. He really don't. God don't play by me. He does not play by me. Jesus, Devante Christ, does not pay, play by me. He don't play by me. Because I feel like, you know, I ask him when I when I meet people, uh, men, women, whoever, I always ask to for God to show, you know, what their purpose is in my life or if they are not meant to be in my life, take them out or just show me, you know, what's, what's what. I be wanting to know that because people be fake. Fake love is out there. Like I'm in Nashville and you know, everybody saying happy new year and everything. Somebody texts me, happy new year. I love you. And I ain't talked to him in like months. Like he pretty much ghosts me, which is fine. Um, he does that sometimes, but this last time I said, you know, I'm not going to even entertain him anymore. And I ain't writing that back because that's fake. That is so fake to me. That's so fake to me. Like, you don't really love me. Liar. You old liar. What you know? Volunteering lies. That's just like in the gym today. Um, I was uh, working out. No, I was leaving uh, the gym and this guy, I know he had been watching me or whatever. And the one that I that be watching me that I be wanting to say, that I be wanting to say something and I think he be wanting to say something. He ain't never said nothing to me. He ain't said nothing to me yet. But this particular person, he said something to me. And why y'all, man, why y'all be volunteering lies? Like, why did you have to tell me I, he said, oh, you done with your workout? I was like, yeah, you know. He was like, I ain't been in here. I was like, an hour. He was like, oh, I'm about to be in here three hours. I feel good. Why are you lying? Because why the fuck would you be in the gym for three hours? That, that's not even necessary. Nothing you There is nothing you do in the gym that requires you to be there for three hours. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you're a, body, a bodybuilder or what. Nothing in the gym requires you to be there that damn long. And so I was like, oh, okay, Godspeed, you know, but I'm finna go. And he was like, oh, he was like, you come here often? I was like, yeah, this is my gym. And then, you know, of course, he asked me if I was married or if I had a boyfriend and all that. He wasn't my type. He wasn't tall enough, first of all. I can tell on the treadmill that this man wasn't tall enough for me. I'm 5'9". He was a good 5'7". A good 5'7". And... That's just my preference. I don't talk to men that are that are too much shorter than me. That's just my preference. Has nothing to do. The might there might be great. Oh, what did I do? There might be great men out there, uh, shorter than me, but they not for me, baby. And he, the way he just lied unprovoked. That 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 really. I was like, oh no. I all of a sudden got a boyfriend now. <laughs> At that point, like, you just lied unprovoked talking about you going to be in the gym for three hours. Oh, okay. So I'm, in, I'm from Florida. 
Oh, okay. And what's so funny, he his name is similar to a the guy that I was talking to in Florida, that I'm still talking to in Florida. Uh, it's similar to his name. And I said, well, look at that. <laughs> and he was like, he's from Tampa. I was like, oh, shit. That's so funny to me. That is so funny to me. Just giving like this really cute, sporty, but dressy moment. Or not really sporty, but more like going out. So chic, going out moment. I decided to wear my hair up instead of wearing it down. I could wear it down if I wanted to, if I changed my mind. But y'all, I look fucking good. I look good. But yes, darlings, we are late. So I just came on here to show my outfit. Talk to y'all later. Grace, say hello for the vlog. It's Grace's birthday, everyone. Uh, 30 30. Oh my God. Don't do that. 30 is the new 20. Okay. 30 is your 20s with money. Ooh, that's, period. That's, that's the truth. That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. I'm telling you. She see money all around me. I look like I'm the man. Yeah. But I was gone all like last week. Tell me, where have you been? the next day and somebody inserted oh boy we had a time last night because we did we had a truly amazing time last night um hanging out eating dinner we went to queen's park afterwards and had drinks my cousin really had herself a good time i'm so glad that she was able to get out and have a good time with us last night um so i came home last night and I passed out because I literally ain't had no sleep. I did take an hour nap last night. I mean, yesterday before I went out. I'm so proud of me because if you know me, if you really know me, I don't take no nap. I don't know how to take naps. I know how to go to sleep and wake up four hours later, but I don't know how to take an hour nap, 30 minute nap. I took exactly, it was more like an hour and a half nap because I set my alarm now. I think I went to sleep at like, 4.30 and I woke up at like 6. So, I um, did good. But this morning, I did get up and go to church. I went to my friend's daughter's christening. Um, so, Everly did get Christian today. And now we're about to go. I'm about to go to their house to have dinner. Um, yeah, so... It's been crazy. I've been crazy, crazy couple of days. And then I was sitting over here thinking like, dang, the weekend went by so fast. But tomorrow is Martin Luther King's birthday. So we're off tomorrow. Um, So I don't have to wake up early and clock into work. I'm probably going to go work out. But I'm not going to no work to do i'm probably going to relax tomorrow because i've done a lot the past two days and i'm going to vlog i'm going to edit my vlogs or whatever tomorrow so yeah it's been eventful days but um i just put the hair up in a cute little ponytail everybody thinks it's my hair it's not my hair it's the tape ends um we want to talk about these tape ends too uh i didn't really like this batch of hair um this time it's not maybe it's just not 
it's not something's not connecting with my hair something's not clicking <laughs> because they are coming out so and i'm just wetting them i'm not I, this is even before i even detangle the hair it, they're just sliding out so i don't know i, I don't have them two weeks <laughs> no i've had them since december 30th two damn weeks that is two weeks well shit that's not good anyway so let me show y'all my outfit i don't have on anything special but this morning i was gonna show y'all my outfit but my pants were too big um losing weight is something great but also sad saddening because you when you lose a lot of weight you have to constantly buy clothes and so i really don't know what size i wear but the pants i had on i got them you probably saw them in the vlog when i my travel vlog from dc um i they are some like cream um leather pants they're sagging in the front they don't have buttons or a zipper they just pull up and they're sagging so um i'm going to have to get those altered so yeah i didn't show my outfit this morning but i was really cute let me show y'all what i got on all right guys so i just have on this top from zara that i bought a long time ago that was too small at first but now look what it's doing it's so big on me it's a this i guess it's a tunic i can actually wear it like a tunic now i wasn't able to before i used to wear like where it has a like regular top and then i have on these jeans that i bought from forever 21 these are the boyfriend jeans so just got this little detail showing right here you know so i can look, look like i got a little shape to me um and my most comfortable shoes ever as well as my denim purse from amazon and just these cute little glasses my friend gave me and yeah that's what i have on this is the fit nothing special but you know something cute and casual so i will get back with you guys once i get to my friend's house hi everyone um so we are leaving my friend's house I don't want to be rude. Her family was there and everything um, and vlog. So, you know, I don't know how they feel about being in a vlog. So, I didn't even want to ask. So, I just was like, let me just um, enjoy the moment. And so, now we're going to Target. Like, my friend literally lives outside of the shopping center where Target and at home and a bunch of places are. So, I'm about to go in Target for a minute. And I'm, I'm at this weird place where I don't, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm in this weird place. I'll talk to my therapist about it. Because it's like, I'm not hungry. I know I just ate, but I have this feeling like I want to eat because I'm not because I'm going through something so I think my um I don't think I have a food addiction anymore but I feel like I use food as a coping mechanism sometimes and that's what is trying to happen right now and I'm trying to fight it to you something it's whooping my ass <laughs> It is whooping my ass right now. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's beating me up. It's getting, it's putting me, it's taking me down through the. This man is driving so slow in front of me. Through this, oh, nice. Did they come on? They went up a dollar. Let me tell you something. I want a dollar.
not while I'm favored with the Yeezy slides and I'm finna get me some. <laughs> Now, while I'm favor with the Yeezy slides, I'm sure you're gonna give me some, baby. They fifteen dollars. Oops, found my size. Actually, Target. These are so cute, and they have my size. Uh, they're water repellent. Are these rain boots? No, these are cute. I'm getting them. Hey guys, I'm back. I want some strawberry lemonade from Arby's. I got that in this suit. Anyway, so I'm home and I wanted to do a little Target haul, but I don't have much. I was gonna buy one a dress that I saw by Kalana Barfield brown, but it has shoulder pads and I already have like broad shoulders So I know shoulder pads accentuates your shoulders and makes them look bigger So I don't want to do that. I want to draw attention to my already big shoulders So I didn't get it But I did find some cute ass boots But look at these boots y'all Look at these boots. These are Target. Oh, snap. Okay. These are Target any day now or a shit. <laughs> a new day boots. How cute are they? Like I thought they were rain boots at first because it says on here water repellent. Um, but they are just winter boots. And I don't have any like kind of casual winter boots. And I love these. I'm sure I could wear them. Let me see. But they were $44. They were kind of pricey. For Target, let's say that. They're not pricey, but um I I wear an 11. And let me tell you something. When they only have one 11, when I come back, it was gonna be gone. I already know. So I was like, let me try it. To um so I'm gonna try them on but um yeah I had to have these I was like these are I can't pass these up Woo, I got them all let me see if I can get them zipped up that's the problem right there uh -uh. immediately I'm in love with these immediately immediate yes I can get them zipped up. There we go. Immediately, yes. They came online, it came in a swell, but that's not necessary. Immediately, yes. Immediately, yes. I love them. I love them. Guys, I love them. They are so freaking cute can you can you see them it's so cute i love those yeah those is a good buy immediately yes i love these and if i get them on my right foot it's easy to put them on my left foot yes 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 i love these these are cute target but guys, I'm about to relax. Um, tired. <laughs> um, I ain't really had that much sleep this weekend for real. So I'm probably gonna sleep most of the day tomorrow. I'm definitely not getting up early tomorrow. I'm definitely not getting up early tomorrow. Forget about it, not. Um, but I do wanna do some things tomorrow like Oh guys, I have a project tomorrow. Y'all gonna watch me do. I'm gonna put up my curtain rods. I've had these curtain rods for almost two years in this apartment and I ain't put them up yet. So tomorrow is what we're gonna do. And then um, I'm gonna, I have some curtains coming from Amazon and then I'm gonna put the curtains up when they come. But we need to go ahead and get the rods up and stuff. So I wanna, I don't know. I've been thinking about moving. If I want to, if I move, I want to move to 
somewhere downtown. I'm just thinking about the prices and stuff like that. Downtown is much more expensive. But when I say much more expensive in Birmingham terms, I'm speaking of, I'm speaking of two, three hundred dollars more than where I am. I'm in Birmingham city limits where I am, but I'm not in downtown Birmingham. I am on the outskirts, if that makes sense. So, like Alpharetta, Georgia, then it's not Atlanta. I'm on the outside, like, like that. <laughs> but this is considered Birmingham City Limits, some of it. My particular community is Birmingham, but when you go out of my community, it's another city. Crazy, I know, right? My limit, honestly, is 1400. That is my limit. But I put the new shit, like, there's one downtown that I really, really, really love, but the prices are astronomical. It's by the Regions Field, which is a big baseball field here where the Barons play, and a park called Railroad Park. And it's like you can see the games from your apartment, pretty much. And it has so many amenities and, you know, all that good stuff. And, um, yeah, I just, I'm not paying $1,900 for a studio. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not, I refuse. And then they got another one that's supposed to be a minimalist type apartment deal called The Citizen, where everything is um, smart home or inefficient, but everything's a studio. Every single one of them are studios. I don't know if I get a studio apartment. What am I gonna do with studio? Only time I would get a studio apartment is if it's a loft. That's the only time. I mean, I'm in a loft, but I have my area where I, my bedroom is is blocked off. You can't see it from where I am. Like, you have to go upstairs to see it. So, yeah, nah. Nobody wants to be alone. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to be alone. Everybody wants somebody. And I'll be crazy to sit up here and say, I don't need no man. I need a man. I'm a part of the pick me brigade. I need a man. <laughs> I would never sit up here and say, I don't need no man. I need a man. Here's what it is. I, I, I have to be very honest. I like male company. I like being in the company of a man all the time. But um, am I going to be desperate to get one? Absolutely not. I would never be desperate you know, to just get whatever, get with it, whatever man. I'm not. But when I finally get a man, I'm going to hold on to him tight. Okay. So tomorrow we're making lasagna soup. So y'all will see that I am going to make lasagna soup tomorrow. I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow. But I'm going to go to the gym. I'm actually going to film so y'all can see me work out. Because I think um, Ovulation Body will be here tomorrow. <laughs> and I will look my best in front of the camera. So, yeah. Alright. I hope you guys had a good Sunday and have a good night. Good morning. It's the next day. It is Monday January the 16th. It is Martin Luther King's uh, holiday. His birthday wasn't today. I think it was yesterday. His real birthday. So, anyway, happy birthday to Martin Luther King Jr. Paved the way for us today, for sure. Um, so, anyway, everybody else in the gym, but I'm mad. I am really, like, fed up with being in this place. Nothing wrong with, I love my, my, um, loft, but they, so we had a hard freeze in Alabama before, right before Christmas or right around Christmas time. And apparently pipes burst and they didn't tell us. Now I knew like some pipes burst in people's apartments because they were coming to fix it and stuff on Christmas day. But for you to say like, oh, we got to turn the water off because we got to fix the burst pipes. January 16th. It's been three weeks. What y'all been doing? <laughs> so now today, when everybody is ho at home and nobody's at fucking work, y'all want to go ahead and, and start working on it. Why not work on this shit when everybody at work? Like if they had said at 10:30 on a work day, I would have been start working on the water. 
nobody's here to take a bath so it would have worked out just fine but now everybody off today and y'all want to work on the water they don't make it make sense the math not mathing so yeah um yeah I'm, I'm planning my exit um so we're gonna go to the gym I have to take a bath at the gym unfortunately when she sent that text to me I had just put some clothes in the washing machine I wasn't gonna stop my washing machine I just was not so is working as of right now but I'm sure that's gonna stop soon so um I'm about to go to the gym take a bath and then I got a couple of errands to run and then we're gonna come back home and I'm gonna cook me something to eat I, I said French toast I might be lying <laughs> well I don't have no milk or powdered sugar so I could go to the store and get some but I don't know I'll see how I feel when I leave the gym on whether I want to do that um, I am making the lasagna soup later on today. I'm making lasagna soup for dinner. Um, and that's how we got. Oh, we got to fold up clothes. We got to do laundry. I've been doing laundry for like four days. And we have to edit a video. So I got an action packed day today. Um, I'm going to take y'all along for the ride. I am. You're going to watch me work out because, baby, let me tell you something. I look snatched today. I look good today. Let me show y'all how snatched I look. Please hold. You can't tell me I'm a little snatched today. The abs is abbing today. The abs are at uh, uh, the abs are abbing today. And I'm not even sucking in. If I was sucking in, I'd be like, <gasps> and it really be showing, but I'm not sucking in. I look fucking good today. I look snatched today. You can't tell me otherwise. You can't tell me I don't look good today. I was snatched. Get into it. Get into this snatched body. Yes. Anyway, enough of that. <laughs> We're about to go to the gym and I'll catch y'all when I get there. Hey, Homer hanging on my neck. The brace of matches are set. My brother named this Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the neck. My mama wish I would've went corporate. She wish I would've went exec. I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respects. Hey, two sprinters to Quebec. Cherie, who am on Bex? They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the mix. You know I gotta bring the set. You know I gotta bring the G block. You know I gotta bring the D block. Cause you know how sticky it get. 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 You know sticky it get. You know sticky it get. She want me to play with that cat. Love how I make it a wet. To the stage, cause somebody's getting paid. And free big slime out the cage. And shorty tried to play it cool, but now she wish she would've stayed. Cause every song that I made is ringing like I got engaged. I love my guys, I wouldn't trade. From the cradle to the grave. Hey, Gordo got me on a wave. And got me on a wave. Couple of hits, now you're brave. But you niggas better behave. But all that pumping up your chest. All that talk about the best. You know how sticky it gets. Hey. You know how sticky it get, 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 you know how sticky it get
the daddy, I'ma make a move Breaking records and I'm breaking news Just be pressed like who you? I get whatever I like This won't bark, but they wanna bite I got some relief for using a mic, bitch Think about that when you type I'm shit on a party with spice And the body gon' eat Bon appetit Ass all fat with the waist on sleep Change your hair, pretty calm me How can I lose if I'm already chose? Like If she feelin' hot, then I make up his rose And I get up his tire every time that I post Damn The party not lit, then I'd rather not go If she feelin' hot, then I make up his rose And I get up his tire every time that I post Damn Look in the mirror, I'm feelin' me Stackin' money with a ceiling Twenty to stand on the couch Run out of town Fuck if they feelin' me He like the way that I dress Throwin' bullets to the flex Like Mimi, I got him obsessed Them bitches see me as a threat The baddest in the room So tell them to make room Diamonds glistenin' on my boot They gon' listen to my tune Flow the laces, but I'm rude I like niggas, bitches too Ayo baddie, what it do? Ayo maddie, what it do? Can I lose if I'm already chose? Like If she feelin' hot, then I make up his rose And I get up his tire every time that I post Damn The party not lit, then I'd rather not go If she feelin' hot, then I make up his rose And I get up his tire every time that I post Damn And I get up his tire every time that I post Dave's not bad, they be on my ass I could hear you hating from the back Balenciaga baddie got a bag Nigga merch and ate up in the back Nigga feeling gotta play a cool Got the jetty, I'ma make a move Breaking records and I'm breaking news Just be pressed like who you I get whatever I like This won't bark, but they wanna bite I got some relief for using a mic, bitch Think about that when you type I'm shit on a party with spice And the body gon' eat Bon appetit Ass all fat with the waist on sleep Change your hair, pretty calm me How can I lose if I'm already chose? Like If she feelin' hot, then I make up his rose And I get up his tire every time that I post Damn, the party not lit, then I'd rather not go If she feelin' hot, then I make up his rose And I get up his tire every time that I post Damn, look in the mirror, I'm feelin' me Stackin' money with a ceiling Twenty to stand on the couch, run out of town Fuck if they feelin' me He like the way that I dress Throwin' bullets to the flex Like Mimi, I got him obsessed Them bitches see me as Hello, everyone I'm back I'm at home Um, you saw I worked out I took a bath at the gym, fortunately. Let me tell y'all something. Why I came home and the water was still on. There was a note on the door that said that they were going to turn the water off tomorrow instead of today. What an inconvenience. Like, I could have took my bath here in the comfort of my own home without having to pack all that shit and taking it to the gym. That's the shit I be talking about over here. Like, it's such an inconvenience. I don't like, at my big age right now, in, being inconvenienced is like the worst shit ever. Like, I don't like being inconvenienced like that. So, I just, but I do want to show y'all something. So, I was Chick-fil-A. I was going to Chick-fil-A and I be making up stuff. Like, and I don't, y'all know, if you follow me, I don't be on TikTok like that. So, um, this may be, may or may not be a TikTok recipe, but I bought the mac and cheese and I tossed my chicken tenders. Let me see it. Focus, 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 focus. I tossed my chicken tenders in buffalo sauce and put it on top of my mac and cheese. I just know this finna hit. Focus. I just know this finna hit. This finna hit. And I made me a little spinach salad too, because I need me some greens. So let's let's try it. Let's try it. Get some of that mac and cheese from down at the bottom. Get one of them. Okay. This is what it looked like. Can you can you focus? Okay, this is what it look like. I will hit buffalo chicken mac and cheese. Make you some. Add a little pepper and salt into my mac and cheese because it was lacking today. I'm getting ready to um, finish eating. And then I, I got to run a couple of errands. Then we're going to come back home and make lasagna soup. I was gonna make my French toast. I was gonna make um, some some croissant French toast today. I ain't got time. Okay, guys, I'm about to.
I'm about to put up my current ride. Okay, and then inside, I know there is some stuff. Okay, so got the instructions. And I should have kept everything in the place it was supposed to be. And I want to be looking for some doggone screws. I'm probably going to go buy some screws. But it looks easy. It looks really easy. Oh, you guys. She's about to die. Got my drill. And my drill bits. So... I'll be back. I'm going to get set everything up and charge the phone. I mean, charge up my camera a little bit. He said, Hey, sister, it's really, really nice to meet you. I just met this rapper, seven guy who's just my type. Like the way he's speaking, his confidence is peaking. Don't like his back, he keeps what I'm I like what's underneath him. Everybody gonna say UK Reluctantly Cause most of this press don't fuck with me The style once said tell me cool down down Don't act a fool now now Always act a fool ow ow Ain't nothing new now now Be crazy I know what you're thinking Rap being I know what you're drinking Rap singer, chain blinger Holla at the next chick soon as you're blinking What's your persona about this Americana Rhyme up in my shadow Cause all my clothes design uh, Dress smart like a London boy I feel your spirit, but I still take that cat ass. Cause a lot of wags wanna hear it. And I'm feeling like Mike get his bags. Like the pimps that they clad it. And I know they love it. So they hear with all that rubbish.
cut up on that soup, you guys. It was so good. It was so good, but it was so hearty that I have, look how much, I have so, uh oh, I have so much left. I have so much soup left, it's ridiculous. Um, I can't eat it. I can't eat all of it. Like, my, the because I changed my portion sizes, it's hard for me to eat um something very hearty like that. Something, but I wanted to try that soup so bad. It, he made it look so good on Instagram. Let me show you who I got the recipe from. I didn't want to show me making it because I wasn't sure how to make it. And if I fucked up, you know, y'all, I got footage on here of me fucking up. It is what it is. I just wanted to try it first before I say, okay, let me show y'all how to do it. I got to know how to do it. You can't teach nobody something. You don't know how to do it. So I went on and did it that. I went on and did that. But let me show you who it is. This is his Instagram page. I might have to just copy and paste and then put it on here. It's uh, Mr. Make It Happen. This is his recipe. Anya soup. Meet me in the kitchen. Let's make it happen. All right. First things first. Add your ground beef. Yeah, he and goes. Sauce. He has so a whole that down and add video. He has a whole video on YouTube. I'll put his YouTube on here for you guys to look. But um, don't don't pay no attention to my hair, y'all. Look at me. But that's who I got a recipe from. When I said it was delicious. Also, when I went to. When I went to Whole Foods, I bought some croissant toast. I've been seeing this croissant toast. People been making breakfast out of it. And that's that was the plan today. I was going to make some French toast today. I just didn't have time to do it. Um, I, had, I was trying to do too much today. And so I am actually going to make it this weekend. I'm going to dedicate it either to Saturday or Sunday, making this um, stuffed French toast that I make, where it's stuffed with... Um, well, I like this, um, this icing in the middle and then what's well, like an icing mixture type thing. And then it has like a strawberry compote on top. Oh, so, so, so good with, um, uh, with berry syrup. When I tell you this shit is so good. I made it last, shit, I made it last New Year's. I sure did. Um, and it was so good. So I'm going to make that this weekend. I'll probably make just one of those that you have. Yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing to lose weight is working on my portion size. It has not been easy. Go upstairs and fold my clothes and watch finish watching this. Um, as you guys saw, I got up my curtain rods and I did it myself. If you thought we was talking, we not. Mm -mm, because I had, I shouldn't have had to do this. I shouldn't have to do this. So if you thought we was talking, we not. We not. Mm -mm. But um, yeah, that was a little project I've been wanting to do, but I didn't have a drill. My mom let me got a new drill and she... It's probably going to be mine, but she let me borrow it. And um, I got these beautiful emerald, um, these beautiful emerald curtains coming. Vel beautiful emerald velvet. Because my color scheme in here is kind of like old Hollywood. And once I get everything, it's going to be old Hollywood, um, black, white, neutrals, and that emerald color. Um, so I need to get some more pumpus and all that good stuff. So I can, I got like this beautiful vase that's on the floor that I need to get the long pumpus for to make it just look like, wow. Yeah. And I need to get another vase to put over here. I want to get like a chair or something, some type of really comfortable, big like chair and put it over here up under the stairs. I think that would be dope. And so I'm just trying to make it comfortable to see if I want to stay here. I ate good. I'm satisfied. I am satisfied. And I had me a couple Bellinis. Um, all this has the best Bellini like mixture. They really do. All these has the best Bellini mixture. It's really, really good. 
I have to show y'all um, what what I got from all these. Anyway, they got the best mixture. <sighs> so yeah, tomorrow back to work, back to reality. This vlog will probably go up like Wednesday or something. I'm gonna work, try my best to work on it. Tomorrow, I'm gonna go ahead and try to work on it tonight. Actually, after I fold, I'm gonna fold up all my clothes and then I'm gonna work on my vlog. Hey y'all, thank y'all for tuning in to another vlog. Don't forget to subscribe and also um, make sure that you like, comment, let's engage, let's talk, guys. Thank you guys for tuning in. Have a good night and a good week.